nice to see you here. Hello, how you all doing? Welcome to my next video. Um, today we're going to be talking about this. My new SKU system. I finally finished it. Took way longer than it should have, but it needs to be done for the growth of the business. Let's show you how it works. So, there's been a few comments about it in the comments section of my videos. Some saying, why are you not doing this? Why are you doing this? And it seems a waste of time. Some um, congratulating it, but um, it's going to be how I... People run the businesses a different way. This is how I'm going to run mine going forward. But I will show how it works and hopefully... Well, some people might change over to it. Some people might not, but we'll see how it goes. But first, let's show you how it works. Um, previously, on the back of all these boxes, the box used to be numbered, and every game in that box would be skewed to the box number, and everything's went in every order. Now, every single game, provided the ones that like, not quantity, so like all these are quantity for this number, are skewed to a certain number, and then completely numerical order all the way up to, I don't know what the latest number is, <coughs> 1,603. That box is half empty because it, it shouldn't normally be like that, but I'll explain afterwards how it all works. Um, yeah, it's pretty simple on the surface of it, but it takes quite a lot of upfront work, but it, there's a lot of benefits to doing it this way. One of them being, two shells are now empty. Um, so I can put more stock and all the top is empty so I can put some big stuff I don't know how because I kind of want to use the vertical spaces but I don't know how I'm going to do it yet but for now I don't need to think about that because I've got all this room to expand into so yeah um, the first thing I'll explain is why I'm using this system over the new system first reason I'll go into is the space previously um, all the boxes were half empty, which took up a lot more space, but now the majority of them are all completely filled to the brim, or very close to fill to the brim. Like, previously you could do that with that one, but it requires a lot of work to consolidate boxes, but now it's very quick to consolidate a box, and you don't need to edit the skews, which previously you had to do. Um, but I'll show you an example now. I can't show you properly, because there's not a lot of boxes that are empty, but when you pick old items, obviously they're going to get half empty like this. For example and previously you'd have to change all this if you want to put all these games into this box for example you'd have to skew change every single item to a new SKU number which took quite a lot of time and which led to me being lazy and space being added now um i can go just literally put some space there and then all the ones at the back here i can do it with one hand literally just move them like that and put that box back obviously that was now half empty, um, so I don't have to wait. I probably do it every two weeks, and you just keep going, 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 going until you get an empty box, and pull the empty box out and shift stuff forward or backwards, which is a lot quicker. And like I said, I only do it every two weeks or so. Um, yeah, and it just keeps the space efficient. Be, be trying to be space efficient. So let's go to the next next benefit. I can compare it to what someone suggested in the comments is why don't I just do this in an alphabetical system? Alphabetical system, it would be the same thing where every every box would be, that would, that would solve the space efficiency problems, but the next few problems that alphabetical system wouldn't be able to do. First one is picking. So, you can order by SKU, I think you can order by, no you can't even order by alphabetical on eBay, you can only order by SKU. Um, so when I go to pick on skew, let's just do a few for example. So literally I just be going through, so I've got a 111. And you look between the two numbers, 118 and 106, so it's in this box. And you know exactly where in the box the item is. And if I wasn't on the camera, I'd be able to literally... I plan to get a trolley and just have the trolley with the laptop like there, so I can just go along. But the next one is 118. So, to right at the front here. And the next one is 144. So, it's in this box. It's right there. As you can see, for example, it's just so much quicker to be um, picking. And 
even if you could sort by alphabetical, the say say it wasn't me who knew about games, just say a random employee who just came in. They don't have to look at the game numbers, they don't have to look at the titles or anything, they can just look at it for a number. Take it out, obviously, when they come back to the computer, compare, is it the right game? Obviously this one isn't because I just pulled it out. This one. Compare it to the right game, yes it is. Okay. Just just for a double safe check, but they ideally shouldn't need to do that. Also with the alphabetical system, say I've got like all these new games here. Just picture them, ready to go into the new system, ready to go into the system. I'd have to find each game, find the T game, put them into the, and it'd be very slow putting them away to the new system. With this, you just stick the three boxes onto the end and you're done. So that's how the number system works where the alphabetical system wouldn't work. Another advantage to the number system versus other systems is you can check um, slow items because if you go to the very first number, obviously it's hard now because I want to just change the system, but say six months down the line, that number one game is still there. Now that either be unlisted and it's dropped off your eBay so you can review it that way, or it's high priced and or not popular so you can just easily at a quick glance see what your slowest selling items are because it'll be at the front of the system and you can either review them, delist them, whatever as long as you know these are slower sellers so you can do as you please with that and just better stock management one thing some people have mentioned in the comments is how are you going to keep track of the numbers um, to reuse I don't <laughs> Um, as you see here, there's five digits, so I can technically go up to nine, 99,999 before I need to reuse the uh, same number. I can just keep going up and up and up, and hopefully by that time I get to 99,999. All the very low numbers, probably 50,000 and below, hopefully, um, haven't been used. Uh, and, and I've already been used, so you can go back to the one again. Hopefully. Um, if not, then when I get to 999,000, I can just add another digit and carry on going up. But hopefully I can keep within five digits because it's just easier. And so to read six digits, it's only five digits. One other thing, um, it's kind of a big thing, <laughs> is stock checking. Because obviously when you go to your active listings, so you can order your whole store by custom label SKU. And you can just go across and check, okay, 106, I've got one in stock. Yeah, and just keep going through, scrolling down really quick. And just quickly stock check your store, which I've done recently. Well, obviously changing all the system. And the amount of stuff that's delisted from my eBay is ridiculous. Come have a look. <laughs> Is the amount of stuff that probably since last June-ish has dropped off my store. Absolutely ridiculous. It's going to be a nice boost to the store once I get it all backlisted. But this is the importance of stock checks. Probably I'll be doing this every few months or so. And I can do it nice and quickly with the new system. Across my, all my games and my other systems. And hopefully it never gets as bad again. Because that is probably... I don't know. 500 to a thousand pounds worth of game just sat there unlisted so yeah not gonna let that happen again and you might be asking how do we get all the labels it's just you buy these from ebay i can't remember what it was but i bought a load of them just one inch by two inch um, labels get my thermal printer um, and just print all the numbers off myself using a website I can't remember what it was. You can buy them, but I thought it'd be better to see if I can... There's lots of guides online how to print off these. Just look them up. <laughs> but yeah, that's my new SKU system. Obviously, as I've hinted in previous videos, I also use it for my discs and smaller items, like cartridges and bits. And the only difference is I use these little cards a5 cards with the number on it instead and just the item behind it these ones i will reuse i've just took them out of here but 
it's just working out what numbers I restart. I've, I'm using four digits in the SKU, even though it shows three here. Um, so I can go up to... Well, I don't, I don't know, because I don't want to get 9,000 of these cards. Because <laughs> that would be a ball like, getting them all, but... We'll see how, how, how far I use these, but... Same system, just with cards. And then, obviously, with bigger stuff, I'm still using the system that probably everyone's used to with numbers on the box inside. Obviously, trying to be efficient with A being the shelf, B being... Um, and number being the box on the shelf. I do plan to make some improvements here. Still the same system, but probably get boxes about this size just to cover the whole area instead of random boxes, and then drop the shelves to the box height. Just so I can be as efficient as possible. I did think about using these crates, but I find it fits too many items in the box, so you can spend too long looking for the item in the box, with this, you're less likely to have to be squandering around, you can just find the stuff quickly in there. But yeah. Tell me what you think. Do you think I'm stupid doing this? Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to do it no matter what because I feel there's a massive improvement. It's all about being efficient. As I hinted in the previous video, I want to, this year, just increase my efficiency on what I'm doing. So yeah. Hope you enjoy. I'll see you whenever I upload next. Goodbye.